I love the Book of Mormon. It's helped me with a lot in my life. One of my favorite scriptures that's affected me the most, um, there's a chapter, it's Second Nephi chapter 4, and it's Nephi is this great prophet, um, but he's such a great guy, but sometimes he feels really discouraged about his own sins, and that's something that's helped me a lot because, you know, I've sometimes I felt just discouraged, even though I feel like I'm doing everything right, I just feel like I'm not doing good enough to please the Lord. And um, when I was reading, I remember the first time I read through Second Nephi 4, and I read how Nephi felt and what he... I, I found out that he felt the same way, but he talked about the Savior and how much he loved him and how much heavenly mercy Heavenly Father had shown him. And he realized that really, like, those feelings of self-depreciation, that those weren't coming from God. And one of the things he said, he said, Awake, my soul, no longer droop in sin. Rejoice, O my heart, and give place no more for the enemy of my soul. And that's one of my favorite scriptures. He's, he's telling us, like, to rejoice, to awake, and that he's saying that's the opposite of drooping in sin. And I think Satan uses that discouragement a lot. He tries to discourage us, make us feel like we're not good enough, and that's one of his most powerful tools. But when we rejoice and we remember the Savior and all that he's done for us, um, that really can give us power to have to obey God. And I'm so grateful for the Book of Mormon and just for the things that it's taught me. That and many other things have really changed my life, and I know that it's a book inspired by God and that it contains the fullness of his gospel.